According to Newton's law of cooling, a hot object cools at a rate proportional to the difference between its own temperature and that of its environment. If a roast at room temperature, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, is put into a 20 degree Fahrenheit freezer, and if, after two hours, the temperature of the roast is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, what is the temperature of the roast after five hours? Well here, let's take a look at our differential equation. We have the temperature of our object cool, so we have exponential decay, at a rate proportional to the difference between its own temperature and that of its environment. Well, ordinarily, you would just write y equals y naught e to the kt. However, this particular differential equation is slightly different, so it might be best to take a look at what our differential equation might look like. Here, the rate of change of the temperature of our object with respect to time is directly proportional to the temperature of the object, so T object, minus and that of its environment. So that's the temperature of the environment. And here's what this particular differential equation looks like, that the rate of change of the temperature of the object with respect to time is directly proportional to the temperature of the object minus the temperature of the environment. And of course the temperature of the environment is going to be constant in this particular case, and T object is our function value in this particular example. Now when we solve a differential equation, the first order of business is to separate our variables. So let's divide by T object minus T environment and we'll multiply both sides by dt. So here we have 1 over t object minus t environment times d t object is equal to k dt. Well here I want to get rid of my dt object and my dt. To do that I will integrate both sides. Well here we have the antiderivative of 1 over our function value minus some constant. And that comes out to be the natural log of the absolute value of t sub object minus t sub environment plus c. But of course we'll move that to the right hand side in just a moment. And the antiderivative of k dt is just kt and we'll put our plus c over here on this side. Now we can skip a couple of steps because we know what to do. The natural log of the absolute value of t object minus t e, well we can get rid of the natural log by raising both sides to the power of e. When you do that, t sub object minus t sub environment comes out. And on the right hand side we have c e to the kt. We got this by raising this side to the power of e and just moving our c in front. And now we have our function value t sub object is equal to the room temperature, the, the environment, plus c e to the kt. Now at this point we can solve for c. And we'll solve for c because in this particular problem C might not be the initial temperature of the object. So let's just take a look at what it might be. And we'll do that by plugging 0 into T. When we plug 0 into T, we get T sub object is equal to T sub E plus C E to the 0. Well, E to the 0, that's just 1. So this means that our C is equal to T sub object minus the environment. And of course our T sub object here is the temperature of our object at time T equals zero. So in reality C is equal to T sub object not 
minus T in environment. So this is our object's initial temperature. So I'll just plug that back in. We now know something more about our C right here. So now we have the temperature of our object is equal to the temperature of the environment plus quantity, the initial temperature of the object minus the temperature of the environment, E to the KT. And here is our solution, our general solution, to this particular differential equation. Now let's start plugging things in. We know that the room temperature is 68 degrees. This means that the initial temperature of our roast is 68. So let's make some notes over here. We know that T object naught, the initial temperature of our object, is 68. We also know that at time T equals 2, after 2 hours, the temperature of the roast is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means that T sub object is equal to 40. Furthermore, we also know the environment temperature because the roast is being put into a freezer and T sub environment is equal to 20. So here's all the information that we need for this problem. So let's start plugging things in. So we have T sub object is equal to the environment temperature is equal to 20 plus the initial temperature of the object minus the temperature of the environment. Well, the initial temperature of the object is 68. And if we subtract the temperature of the environment, 68 minus 20 gives us 48. So this is plus 48e to the k times t. Well, we've got a, a good start here. They also gave us a point on this function, namely t equals 2 and t object equals 40. I can use this particular value, this data, to solve for k. So let's plug that in. 40 is equal to 20 plus 48e to the k times 2 hours. So we'll solve this for k. We can subtract 20 from both sides and we get 20 equals 48e to the 2k. We can divide both sides by 48. 20 over 48 reduces down to 10 over 24, which is 5 over 12. So here we have 5 over 12 is equal to e to the 2k. And now to solve for k, we can take the natural log of both sides. So here we have the natural log of 5 over 12, which, by the way, is negative because 5 over 12 is a fraction between 0 and 1. And this is equal to 2k which means that k is equal to one half the natural log of 5 over 12. Now we can plug this into our function. So here we have t object is equal to 20 plus 48 e to the one half natural log of 5 over 12 times t. And finally, we can now solve the actual problem, which was, what is the temperature of the object after 5 hours? To do that, we can just plug 5 into t. So here we have the temperature of our object is equal to 20 plus 48e to the 1 half natural log of 5 over 12 times 5 hours. And when you plug all of this into a calculator, you get that the temperature of our object after 5 hours is equal to 25.379 degrees Fahrenheit. But of course, the problem wants us to round to the nearest degree Fahrenheit, so the temperature of our object is approximately 25 degrees Fahrenheit. 
And so we have put a 68 degree roast into a 20 degree freezer and after five hours the temperature of our roast is 25 degrees Fahrenheit.